guys for here and I found my writing journal from third grade. I am in fourth grade. Don't know exactly how I lost it, but I did, but now I'm gonna read something from it. Uh let me see. I didn't plan this before, I just found it and said, let's make a video. So I'm just looking at it. <laughs> There's one called spaghetti and french fries. Uh Mission Nick. Oh, I want to do this one. Okay. Hey, I am a new neighbor. His name is Mr. Nick. I got this weird feeling he isn't Mr. Nick. I heard the jingling of bells coming from his horse. Porter and I... Porter's my cousin. Porter and I were so curious. I called him and said what was going on. I also said to spend the night. The next morning, we planned it all and went to the store. I went to the store for snacks. That night, Porter went to the costume area. Oh, wait. Yeah. After I was done, I went to see what he was doing. He held up two ninja outfits to my face, and he said, Which one do you want? I also saw a lot of ninja supplies in the car. I said, I want the green belt one, and I love the outfits, but are the toys necessary? Yes, he said. After three minutes, we did we finally decided we don't need the toys, but we do. But we do need the costumes. Later that night, wait. <laughs> Later that night, we stayed up and spied. The next day, he went out of town. It's our chance, I said, with excitement. That night, we zoomed away. We got our outfits and sn and snuck out. After we got inside, the horse jingled its bell some more. It was glowing pink with sparkles. You don't see that every day, said Porter. We went to the kitchen and looked in the fridge. Carrots? Milk? Milk and three plates of cookies? Mr. Mr. Nink has nothing else in his fridge, I said. We went to his room. Paint brushes? Cans of paint? I, get, I guess Mr. Nink is an artist, Porter said. Or is he? I shouted. Read this. I continued. Note to self, a.k.a. Santa. I guess, anyway, I asked to go to the art museum in Tokyo and perform live. P.S. Street Mill before 18th. Porter read to himself, Oh my gosh, he really is Santa, Porter said. <laughs> that was like the creak and the slam. <laughs> uh, where was I now? Santa was back home. We quickly hid under the bed. Where did I put my new pair of boots? Oh, that's right, under the bed, said Santa. Like cover lifting. Like that. <laughs> ah! We screamed. Well, well, said Santa. He grabbed open a... He grabbed open... Wait, he grabbed a pen and a really long piece of paper. Bryn and Porter were very naughty this year, Santa wrote. We begged and begged to get off the naughty list. We told him we were just curious, and Natsu said that we would pay him back with 13 cookies. Then Santa said, okay, I suppose. And that's basically the whole story. Yes, that was a very creative writer. There's one whole page, and then there's that page. Yeah. I think maybe we have one more. I have like 8.30, now it's like three, like three, four minutes in. Wait, did I make a song? Real quick. I don't think I made the song, but it, but I made Harley Quinn and Joker. Yeah, it was Sad Song by We the Kings. You and I were like fireworks and symphonies exploding in the sky. With you, I'm alive. Like all the pieces of my heart, they finally collide. Right there. So stop right time. So stop time right here in the moonlight, cause I don't ever want to close my eyes. Without you, I feel like I'm half of a hole. And I don't know why, but I drew him at a bar. Why did I do that when I was like eight? Um, without you, I've got no hand to hold. Without you, I feel torn like a sail in a storm. Without you, I just feel like a sad. I'm just a sad song. I'm a sad song. Okay, and then here's Harley Quinn. With you I fall, it's like um, I'm leaving all my past and silhouettes up on a wall. With you, I'm a beautiful mess. It's like we're standing hand in hand with all our fears up on an edge. 
too. So stop time right here in the moonlight because I didn't ever want to close my eyes. And then it repeats pages three through six. And then, you're the perfect melody, the only harmony I want to hear. You're my favorite part of me. With you standing next to me, I've got nothing to fear. And then repeat four through six. And that was about it. And then number one, how the plan for my comic didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but this was super crazy to come back out anyway. And we're gonna do Batman and Robin, but I feel like miserably. Uh, I never finished the comic. I drew one page, and then I was just like, no. Uh, I think for anything else, but I don't really even think for anything. Else. Not really, I'd have to get another journal. And I probably will. Oh, by keys, like, because Harley Quinn, like, made a life with Batman and everything. And I forgot where that part was. God. Like, I made, like, a couple sheets of paper with, like, her in a hospital bed and stuff. If I find them, I'll make a video about it. So, I'm not going to spoil it. If I don't, in about a month, which is this month, I will talk to y'all about it. But, um,. Other than that, yeah, like, she's here, she's calling out for Batman, and, like, she's staying, like, take care of the children for me. And, like, here's Joker jumping off the cliff. Batman's staying with her, so. Yeah, that's basically Um, some of my imag imaginary friends when I was younger, Spotty's kind of half real, half not. Teddy, one sec. Teddy is totally made up. I still pretend like I have him. Then Spotty, he's my little dog. One sec. Sorry if it makes a lot of noise. I'm just using my phone. Here is Spotty, my little doggy. Love him. Yeah, and then that was Sparkle, but um, I actually made it up for a little while after I watched Supernatural, that one episode. So, uh, yeah. It's one of my favorite episodes. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Of this yeah because I don't have much more time so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed that me reading some of my stuff um yeah so I guess that's it everybody oh my gosh that is bugging me there we go my pillow pets fluff was on there but 